So here we are. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Silverstein. It's an honor to meet you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. And thank you for inviting me on this tour of the World Trade Center and for letting me interview you. Okay. <laughs> I'm delighted to have this happen. Thank you. I'm delighted, too. Good. Who or what inspires you? What inspires me? You do. Thank you. Right. You inspire how, me. How old are you? I'm nine. Nine years old. Well, I think it's just wonderful. You inspire me to dream big. That's good. Well, dreaming big is very important in life. Yes. Right? So, uh, you can always, much easier to dream small, but to dream big is very challenging. And yes. It's very exciting. And it's a, it's a wonderful way to go through life. Yes, very wonderful right. way. Because that way you can accomplish more. Yes. What is the most valuable lesson you have learned in your career? The most valuable lesson I've learned in my career is to treat people exactly the way you would hope they would treat you. Yes. Right? So treat people equally, treat them fairly, uh, treat them decently, uh, totally contrary to what you see in the presidential elections yes. going forward today. It's a very important lesson to learn. I think it is. Yes. It really is. I agree. Good. Did you always know you wanted to work in real estate? You know, as I was growing up, I was in a family where my mother and father were always talking real estate oh. at the dinner table. And so it didn't take much to caused me to imagine myself as being part of those conversations. Yes. And once I became part of those conversations, I found myself gravitating toward the real estate business. Did your parents work in real estate? They did. They both were, well, it was, it was, a, it was a husband and wife office, just the two of them. Yes. Right? And my father was renting lofts, renting space in lower Manhattan. That's what I heard, and that's what I found interesting uh, until I got into it. And once I got into it, as a young man, uh, I finished my college education, I finished my law school education, but I realized that that was not going to be a very lucrative business opportunity for me. Yes. So I decided what was much more important for me was to become a different type of real estate person. So instead of renting space, off space, such as they were doing, I felt it would be much better if I could become an owner of buildings. And so I, think, I said to my father, I said, Dad, I think we have to become an owner as opposed to being brokers. And so ultimately, that's what we did. We became owners. That was the right decision. It turned out to be yes. very much the right decision. What is something hardly anyone knows about you? Well, what is something any, hardly anybody knows about me? Well, I love to get into a rowing shell and go for a row. Oh. Right? So you see rowboats on Central Park's lake, for yes. example. I like to get into a rowing shell that's meant to go quite swiftly through the water. I enjoy that a great deal. Yes. It sounds very fun. It is fun. Yes. What do you enjoy doing when you aren't working? What do I do when I'm... I love listening to classical music. Yes. Right? Because I grew up in a house where my father put me and my sister to sleep as we were growing up with piano music by Chopin. So I would always hear Chopin etudes, Chopin mazurkas, Chopin waltzes, Chopin sonatas. Uh, sometimes there was Brahms, and sometimes there was a work by Beethoven or a work by Mozart, but usually it was Chopin. Yeah. So every night we'd go to sleep listening to this beautiful piano music, and that's Today is a very important part of my life, just listening to good classical music. Maybe you should try um, writing, writing a rowing show while listening to um, well, classical music. Well, that's difficult because 
when you're growing a shell, you need to be, you need to have your ears open to what may be coming ah. around you. So, therefore, not a good idea to try to listen to music while I'm growing the shell. Yes, that would be a bad idea then. I always finish my interviews with asking the question, what is your favorite meal and dessert? What is my favorite? Meal and dessert. My favorite meal? Yes. Meal? Yes. Hmm. My favorite meal. I mean, what do I really like to eat? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Well, I like, I, I love Italian food. Oh. Uh, because I find I like traveling to Italy. I find oh. Italy to be a very interesting country. I enjoy the Italian language. I enjoy Italian people. And I enjoy Italian food. So that's probably one of the things I enjoy the most is to eat good Italian cooking. Yeah. What's your favorite dessert? What's my favorite? Dessert. Dessert? Yes. Oh, well. An Italian dessert? Uh, well, good Italian chocolate cake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. It is. That sounds very good. Yeah. It's also very fattening. You can't eat too much of it. Yes, but it's well, good at once your in a while. You can. My age, you can't. Yes. Thank you for this interview, Mr. Silverstein. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure. I'll always remember this day. Good, I'm glad. I will too. Thank and you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Okay, dear.